So I'm making a unisex cow using the vertical basket weave stitch and it's very pretty. So I cast it on 108 stitches because it's a multiple of 6 for when you're knitting in the round. And I'm using the needles that the yarn calls for. This is a very nice yarn. It's from Knit Crate and I'm using the from the Mindful Collection, I'm using the Serenity set. It's uh, for the Magic Loop. So, and I'm using size 8 knitting needle. So everything is going to be written down. So once I cast on my stitches and I used the knit cast on. And there is a, we have a link to that. So let's do this. This is row or round number one. And round number one, two, three, and four are all the same. And they're very simple. So pearl four, one, two, three, four, and knit two. And that's it. You repeat pearl four, one, two, three, four, and knit two. Again, pearl four, one, two, three, four, and knit two. And I will see you once I finish my four rounds with this pattern. Okay, so I did four rows. One, two, three, four. Of purl four, knit two. All the way around. Now rows five and six are all only knit. So you knit around and that's it, five and six you only knit. Okay, I did my two rows of only knit, rows number five and six. So now row number seven is going to be seven, eight, nine and ten. So it's going to be four rows of the same stitch. So since I want them alternated, you see here I have the knits and here are the pearls, where the pearls are. In the middle of those four I want the two knits. So now I am going to start my round by making one pearl and two knits. That's how I'm going to start. And then I follow the same as always. Pro four, one, two, three, four, and knit two. Pro four, and knit two. So obviously when I get to the end of my round I am going to have three pearls so that together with the first one is going to make four. So but I'll see you when I get there. So I'm almost at the end of round number seven. So I have pearl four, knit two, pearl four, knit two, and pearl three. One, two, three. And now you start your round the same as what you did on row number seven, which is pearl one, knit two, 
and pro four, knit two, pro four, knit two, and you go around like that. I will see you when I finish my four rounds, seven, eight, nine, ten of of this stitch. So I finished rows seven, eight, nine, and ten, and rows eleven and twelve are all knit. And so I'll see you when I finish the two rows because then you start with row number one, two, three, and four, which are the same. And that's a piece of cake. And I'll see you later. So now I want to bind off. And you can bind off so it, that it looks the same as the beginning. You can bind off after row four. And then once you do row number four, you bind off, which is the same way as what I'm doing here. Or seven, eight, nine, ten. Or after row ten, as soon as you finish row ten, you can bind off. So that's what I'm going to do now. I am going to bind off after row number four and just regular bind off so you knit two and pass over. Knit another one and pass over. Knit another one and pass over. So don't do it too tight because you want it pretty flexible. So I will take some pictures of this and uh, show you what it looks like. And thank you for watching. Share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoy your cow. This is the way you finish something you have knitted in the round. So this is a cow that I made. This is the last stitch that I'm binding off. Pass that one over the last one. And that is that last stitch. What you want to do with it is make it big. Cut your yarn and pass it through that last loop. And now it looks like so. Take your needle your sewing needle and you're going to find that first stitch that you knitted on the other side which is this one. So make, find the first complete stitch on the other side because this is like half. So find the front and the back of that loop, pass your yarn through, and then bring your needle and put it in the back of that last loop that you knitted. So now you created a loop and it doesn't show at all where your bind off was. So let's turn it and pass a couple of spots in the back and make a subtle knot like, like there. Pass it on itself. And now you can weave in the ends.
and there we go and this is the way it looks let me see where that loop is coming from oh okay it's the last stitch so I'll fix it from the front and there we go and that's the way it looks so now let's now we can cut this yarn and we can do the beginning so let's see where we are that's the beginning that's the tail that I left when I started and we're going to go and find that first loop on the other side and pass your stitch over so like that it looks the same as it did at the beginning see so now it doesn't show where you started and you go to the back make a little knot there pass it on itself and then you can weave in the ends and that's it let me show you how it looks see so now you don't know where you started which is right there so that's it thank you for watching